Lexus Dirty Maintenance Show. Sweet power slide. <laughs> Welcome to the Dirty Maintenance Show. We got an AC down. We had a problem with the crankcase heater a week ago, tripping the breaker. And they said it's blowing a little warm today. Drain lines. We're gonna do an old wet bulb test. Wet bulb and dry bulb. Doing some wet bulb. Looks like the wet bulb is going to be about 63. Dry bulb 78. Suction line 72. It's a it's a piston, so we'll be charging by superheat. Seventy one. Coming on down. Saturation about thirty four. Head pressure. Suction line 71, saturation 34. All right, we have R410A. We have a piston, so we'll be charging by superheat. Indoor wet bulb, 63. It only goes to 62 or 64, so we'll say 62. Condenser dry bulb. 78 goes to 75 to 80 so we'll we'll give it a 80 vapor pressure uh, about 105 uh, 106 Line temp, seventy. Ah, pine straw. Calculate. Add charge. So we will throw some juice to her. All right, we gotta throw a charge on it. Make sure your R410A can is upside down. Make sure you purge the air out of your lines. And with R410A, you just throttle it. Don't wanna go too much or you may overcharge.
saturation 50. Suction line 58. Okay. We have our new numbers. R410A, superheat. My wet bulb was 61. So we'll say 60. Dry bulb was 80. The line pressure was. 135 so we'll say 136 and the line temp it's 54 select calculate correct charge Our new calculations, we have a correct charge. Superheat 10, I'm happy with that. I am happy with that, all right.